Good morning, everyone. How are you guys today? It is early morning. I got my coffee going. I am here to open up a bunch of these packs that I got here. I got all these. I got about like 4,000 plus uh, vintage postcards from the 1800s to the early 1900s and most of them are holiday like Christmas Valentine's Day and such so I got these from an estate sale and I haven't had a chance to even open them up and look at them but <clears throat> gauging by the the looks of them at the moment I I'm about ready to fall over um, the lady I got them for them um, said they are all in very good condition and uh, told me about the year and the ladies to collect them and stuff like that and it's perfect timing because Christmas, you know, my main thing is I know I've seen some Thanksgiving in here as well. So my goal today, um, I'm going to go live between <clears throat> noon or uh, evening. Uh, comment below what time works for you guys. I'm debating on afternoon or evening. Just what works for you guys. It's Friday if you were trying to get done with work and such. So my goal to go live is to separate them in packs, like packs of 10 or 15 and then just put them in the shop kind of thing but if you join live be a perfect opportunity to say hey you know you know uh, I love to have this and that and I put you on the list and you can make sure you get a, a guarantee a pack kind of thing um, so I'm hoping to have the listings up in the shop before I go live so then if you do want it you can actually grab it but uh, if not there I could do a list not a problem my goal is to have them up um, they I can either do random or um, pick a pack kind of thing. I'm not sure. It depends on, let me open these up today. Let me open up one right now. Right now, I absolutely love this, this bell here, this Christmas bell thing. Um, but if you're new here and you're probably wondering, what am I doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Down below is, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, down below is all the information to follow um, or to check out my shop, Amore Fabrics. And um, we got a Facebook group. we got Instagram. Uh, Pinterest and all that good stuff, but um, hope you follow along and have fun here. Anytime I get new stuff, I'm my first thing to do is to share with you guys and give you options and opportunities to have these items. That is my main goal as a shop owner. I am going to make sure I can present to you guys things um, that you might be able to use for your projects or for your uh, hobbies or for collecting, um, all those things. So here we go. I oh my god, I I. I, once I seen these, they're sitting there. I'm like, oh my goodness. But look at these postcards. These are just Christmas. And I'm sure there's more in here as well. But look how gorgeous. I mean, like this one here is, I can't even, it is 1910, I think. Sometimes it's so hard. Um, Kingston, New York, I do know. And it says, Merry Christmas. Isn't that just gorgeous? This one says, with best Christmas wishes. But I think if I do random, I don't think, um, this one's 1909. These would be awesome to scan, you guys. You know, I mean, perfect Christmas scannable type postcards. Um, but looky here. I guess I can also do a listing for vintage um, ladies, lovely ladies. Or, um, look how gorgeous the color are on these. This one here is 1912. But my goal is go live to separate them. Look at this one. It says, oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Could you see this, guys? I mean, oh, so I can imagine putting these into packs like Lovebirds. This would be awesome. Lovebird pack. This one's 1902. I'm make sure that one looks like children. This one is Lovebirds. This one here, it says, a madame was walking along Broadway when she met her lover, so blithe and so bly and gay. How cool is Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Now you guys can understand my surprise. And that's why I want to go live because then you can see what are going to be in the packs. Um, maybe I should be doing these um, pick a pack so you can see. This one's 1909. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but look how beautiful. I mean, I've never had postcards that were so gorgeous. This one here says, no need. Should hear what the lovely miss. I can show you a better, better love with just a kiss. Oh, that is so cute. That is adorable. Of course, we got some embossed. This one here says, good luck. Ooh, Irish. I know good, some good Irish friends who follow us here. Look at that Irish one. This one here looks like. 
not sure, but that's why I'm going to go live because then I can separate these into the themes and patterns. This one's Easter. Like, I love to get some Easter going. Oh, look at this lovebird one. Aren't you glad you found me? Oh, my gosh. We totally are going to have a lovebird listing. <laughs> that is so cute. All right. I don't think we have too many of the buildings. So those are a dime a dozen to me. Uh, but when it comes to holiday, lovebirds, lovely ladies, it's that's those are nice. Of course, we got the Dutch ones. Those are always popular as well. This one here is 1912. I'll make sure to put a listing for Dutch, the Dutch children. Here's another Christmas one. Season greetings. Just aren't they just beautiful? Okay, Christmas, Christmas pile. But and then of course we got the, the vintage lovely floral as well. Look at the color of these. And blank. How awesome is that? This one is made by it's signed. It's called Roses. I don't know if anyone can see that. Hopefully, if I hold still long enough, you guys can zoom in or something. I'm not sure. It's really cool. So, okay, we got floral. And then birthday. I should do a birthday listing as well. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I mean, it's just, I, ooh, the Lord's Supper. That would be awesome for Christmas, too. Like, religious Christmas pile. All right, guys. I'm just going to leave this here. Put vintage lovebirds over here. And I figured you guys can go through these with me. Oh, comic ones. Those are cool. All right. So look at, oh my gosh. Oh, look at the embossed Christmas one. I'm not going too fast. This one's got a plastic sleeve on it to protect it. It's 1909. Look at that. Beautiful penmanship. But look at the embossed and gold rose one. I put that on the floral. Yep, I have a feeling... Um, oh my gosh, look at this New Year's greeting. I'm sorry. I sound like, oh my goodness, so many times, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I hope you guys uh, get a jump. This is Christmas on these postcards. Um, look at that beautiful one. Oh my goodness. I have had many postcard lots, but this is my very first that I have gone with. See, I'm doing that so you can kind of see it just raised with the gold. Gorgeous floral. Happy Easter. So we got an Easter pile here. Easter's right there. Of course, we got the comical ones. Let's put that over there. Easter. And it just keeps going. Let's make sure those Christmas ones gorgeous. Put the Christmas with Christmas. Yeah, so that's my goal today is to have fun. Here we go. Definitely have to do a religious Christmas one pile. That gorgeous. And when there it says, God, uh, good tidings of great joy make Christmas impact in part to you sorry can't even read this morning and this one here is 1922 gorgeous another religious this one's easter though another easter look at that embossed easter card oops it's like a thick one that is really cool another beautiful floral so yes guys i have so many here plenty to go around I think just random may be just fine because they are all just gorgeous. Um, let me know. Comment down below. I love to hear, you know, what you guys have to say. Another Christmas. I'm definitely going to have plenty of Christmas, guys, for you guys. Um, and this is just one pack. Look at it. I got, <laughs> I mean, thousands going on here. Look at, oh my gosh. I wish I had known this. I would have put these in the Christmas kits. Um, uh I should have got to this earlier, guys. Oh, well. Everything happens the way you show this for children, I think. Oh, look at that angel. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Maybe when I go live, I'll just put 10 in a pack and then say, ready, set, go kind of thing. Maybe we can do, like, a live dash sell. That'd be easier, I think. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. Definitely. Oh, my gosh. They are just beautiful, guys. I, no matter what this rose is. Okay, so there you guys have it. I'm going to have fun going through all these, opening up all these packs, and let's see what we got. Um, I do know that some may be damaged. I will be putting together a listing just for damaged postcards. What's really cool, I don't know if those who watched when I did a video on, uh, I didn't do a video on it because, okay, when I did my Christmas kits, I did a lot of sewing on the borders of uh, vintage postcards 
that um that were messed up and i used them as pockets in the last junk journal kits it was really cool because you know a lot of times when there's broken corners or ripped in the back and no uh, stamp it was you know a lot of people what do you do with it you know so but it was it was a perfect pocket that you can stitch around and put in your journal kind of thing um so i what i'll do is i'll bring out my sewing machine when we go live and i'll show you how i did it i'm sure it's really rather easy but some people may want to know here's another irish one it says best wishes and it's got a pot full of uh clovers you see that how cool is that it says god bless dear old ireland <laughs> how cool is that i first person i could think of oh dorinda <laughs> and a few others oh my goodness irish i gotta put that aside for her okay all right, guys so there you have it i can't wait to open these guys up i'm gonna wait for you guys i really really am itching to start cutting but i'm just gonna leave this here so when i go live this afternoon what have you and let's check these out and uh, let's see what we have here and maybe I, you guys might find something you absolutely love all right guys until later i'll see you guys later bye